for joining us today as we take a look at how to determine what takes the longest rebuild time in our assemblies. It happens to me a lot in the past and prior life that I would have an assembly and it seems like it takes forever to rebuild. Now, if you're like me, you would look in the lower left corner, try and pay attention to see what that one component that seems to hang is. But if you have an assembly with hundreds, thousands of pieces, you don't want to be doing that. So we're going to let the software tell us that instead. Now, real simple to do, a few mouse clicks and we'll have the, that stats for us. I'm going to go ahead and go onto my evaluate tab and we have a tool called assembly visualization. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And what's going to happen is I'll get a new tab up here for that. Now, some default things in here, quantity, mass of the parts, etc. You can show hide. You know, it's going to show you here which is higher values for that. All right, so I can sort by mass, going up, going down. So the yoke cylinder, for example, has the most mass. Well, I want to know rebuild time, and that's simple enough to add in here. What we want to do is click on the little arrow right here, and we're going to pick more as an option. And in this property pull down list, we want to find SW rebuild time right here. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to hit OK. And just like that, what we're going to get in the corner here is the rebuild times for parts. So for example, this battery cover takes 13.2 seconds to rebuild out of my entire assembly. So now if this assembly is taking a long time to load, that is the first component I want to take a look at. Maybe there's a fillet in there that's taken most of the rebuild time. Maybe there's some other feature I could potentially suppress short term to speed up the design, rebuild, etc. So again, real simple to do. Assembly visualization. Click on the arrow. Pick more, hit the pull down, and then you want SW rebuild time. Hit OK. And then, of course, you can sort it what takes the least, what takes the most. Hope this saves some headaches in the future and you get something out of it. And thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.